In the late 60s, there was a race going among the three major manufacturers of jetliners uh, to see who could get the, the first jumbo out. And one of the things that they could not suffer were many delays based on some problem with the design. When a new model of aircraft is made, then the certification requirements demand extensive testing. So the cargo door would have been tested. Was it strong enough? But the locking mechanism itself isn't really subject to big certification requirements. You've got to show that it locks or it doesn't. V1, rotate. The pilots were quite happy in their normal departure routines. Everything was going well. They were doing their checks, following the air traffic control instructions. Then all of a sudden, a big bang. Floor gave way. There's a hole in the back of the plane. A hole. Yes, sir. This damaged the control cables for the the flight control systems for how the airplane can be steered. And it also damaged the controls for the number two engine, which is up in the tail as well. Basically, rendered the airplane unflyable. Doors are not supposed to fall off airplanes. The handle went home properly, but the locking pins had not gone through the spool. Race control, this is Tango Hotel Yankee 981. We're at 6-0, requesting clearance to flight level 230. Sometimes we get an accident after a very serious incident. As safety investigators, we can only tell people what went on and what we think is good ideas. It's then down to the regulators and designers and operators and maintainers to actually fix the problem that we've identified for them. 7,000 feet! Hydraulics! We've lost it! I still have nightmares about this, even though it's 33 years ago. 